It looks like the devblock season for War Thunder in 2024 is soon arriving because today we got two new pre-order tanks. One being Gen Centauro RGO and the other one being the Stritzwan 1-1B Christian 2. Or oh, Christian, I don't know how it's pronounced in Swedish language. Now... I guess we can start with the Centauro and there is not much else to say. It is literally the same Centauro we already know from the tech tree. It is a normal Centauro 1 with the 120 millimeter gun being used in Oman. And it is going to set you back quite decently 70 euros if you buy it right now. If you buy it right now, you also get a little bit of Golden Eagles, you get 20 days of War Thunder Premium, and you get this title, Ditchin of Ald Deserts, not sure if I pronounced it correctly, and you get a unique Cobra decal. Wow! Decal! Do you remember back in the days when they did the pre-order for the F5C? Which was a unique skin being the one of the MiG-28 of the movies. You know, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little bit neater than just a decal. To be fair though, it's a cool decal. It's a snack. However, now let's just quickly move over to War Thunder itself so I can just... Look, the thing is, it is an 11 free vehicle most likely because again, it's Control c Control v and give it a different name. The main issue is though that this is not the Centauro 2 version we are going to get, which would have an auto load of think at like 5 or 4 second reload time. Nevertheless, I want to say the only real redeeming feature, and I'm probably going to piss off half of the Italian suggestion discord, is the Centauros. The Centauros are the redeeming feature of the Italian tech tree. Why exactly? Because they are unique to all the other tech trees, because not a no other tech tree has a proper 11O plus light tank, which is on wheels. Yes, there is a striker, but it's slow and sluggish. Yes, there is the Radkampfwagen, which is fast, but it likes thermals. And I guess that's it. Now, I already discussed it with some other friends from the Italian Suggestion Discord, and the thing is, do you really need this thing? The other, everything else in Italian Tech tree is kind of boring. Yes, the Dardos are cool, the Freccia is cool, but the Arietas are bad MBTs. The Arieta M AMV is a bad MBT, or rather it doesn't really forgive you any mistakes. The good thing about the Centauro 120 is going to be that it is no armor, best armor, and it has a very, very, very potent round. The CL3143 with almost 600 millimeters of pen. So we, you will have no issues slamming through people's faces. And the other thing is it is having, as far as I know, Gen 2 or even Gen 3 firmers, so people with bad eyes, like I do, will not have issues issues spotting people but again the main problem with the Centauro will be you are basically buying a premium for currently a rather uninteresting tech tree with the only interesting features being its wheel vehicles and the automatic which is also not good at the moment because the Arietes suck the KF-41 sucks and for helicopters you have at least you have the D Mangusta now which has spikes but the spikes suck and for air, you don't really have anything except for the A8B+, which is neat because it does actually have quite a decent chunk of variety when it comes to ground pounding. It even has the 65Ds, which is great. And you got the IDS as well, if you don't have the other one yet. But other than that, you won't really get anything new relatively soon because the next thing would be, I guess, the Gripen because of Hungary, but I'm not sure and the F-35 for Italy itself. But again, that's about it. So let's move over to this, well, not this one, but uh, the one to one b Christian 2. And basically it is a normal one to one aka a normal lepel, lepel, Leopard 2A4 with advanced electronics. The problem with advanced electronics in War Thunder is that we don't really care about them because they don't really have any impact in gameplay. It has new smoke grenade launchers which are to the front and it does look 
like you have commander sites, maybe even thermals, who knows? But the redeeming feature might be that it has a faster turret traverse than the normal Leopard 2A4 or the normal 121B. And it costs 70 euros, but this might be a little giveaway for Gai Jin. It also gives you the bl blue blood title, not really sure if you need that, and it gives you another decal being this one right here. Now, if we have a look at the normal 2A4 package for the German track tree, it is 65 euros currently. And this thing is the 10.3 version of the tank. Or when you go to the Swedish tech tree, it is... There we go. It is this one basically, just a carbon copy of the 1 to 1. The main problem is, and this is something which I'm just going to say comes from um, Cave Noob. Technically, the Swedish tanks never really used DM13 or DM23. They always used on their 105mm guns the Slipper J M95. Which, as you can see, has almost 600mm pen. It's almost basically a common copy of the ZL43 of the Italian run we just had a look at. So, I kind of think, with the fact that the tank might is a little bit more expensive than the other tank, like the, the normal Leopard 2A4, it might be a 10.7 or even an 11.0 vehicle. Because it's not even that far-fetched. At 11.0, we A have the IPM1, which has M900, which is a very high power round, and we have the M1A1 which roughly has similar protection values compared to the Leopard 2A4, but it is a little bit of a glass cannon and has the M829A1 round, giving us almost 600 millimeters of penetration. So it's not really far-fetched that we might think that we might be getting this Christian 2 121B on 11.0. The good thing about the 11.0 placement would be that you will have a pretty decent lineup to begin with if you wanna, well, you know, buy yourself into. You can get the CV9105. Yes, it might not be the best vehicle for 11.0, but it will definitely work. It's still a very fast vehicle. It has still a very decent pen round, which will penetrate weak spots nevertheless. Then you have the TADU. And yes, it doesn't have 3BM46 or 3BM60, but still it has 3BM42. And it has NVD. And it's a T80 U. And it's a T80, meaning it actually has trollish armor and superb survivability because for some reason they never tend to explode. Also, technically, you could be using the J35XS as your premium variant, as it does have CCIP for its rockets. Yes, the rockets kind of suck. But at least you do have the M56Ds, which have up to 500mm of heat pen, which should be enough against top attacking people. And it will definitely be enough against air vehicles. And you can use this thing as anti cas as well, as long as you don't get slammed out of the air by a radar missile. Nevertheless, technically 11.0 for Sweden in the late game is not too bad. You still have the AJS-37, which has up to four Mavericks. That is not bad. And you can get the Asrod R, which is great. But other than that, you obviously want to be looking further to 11.7. So you are definitely going to down tier yourself if you're going to get this thing. One thing, final point I want to talk about is why exactly do they want to introduce the 1 to 1B Christian 2? I believe, obviously they said back in the update, by the previous update where we got the clickbait and what did we get else? I forgot. I, I thought it was another premium for top tier, but I forgot. You will definitely tell me in the comments below. Another major point could be that Gaijin decides to introduce this to nerf the tech tree. Because currently, what can Gaijin really do? Sweden is dominating, simply because their tanks have very good survivability thanks to thicker armor than what the Leopard have of Germany, and to have all-round spore liners, making them a little bit slower, but they give you a lot of forgiveness. 
So, how do you exactly nerf a tech tree without removing armor, which would be unhistorical, or removing the spawn lines, which would be unhistorical, or giving it a long reload, which would be unhistorical? Very simple. You introduce a premium tank, so noobs or players which are one death andies get into your matches and tank your win rate, because now you suddenly have to carry those wieners as well. This wasn't the problem currently, because again, at 11.7, you don't really have anything which can tank your win rate with Germany together, because there aren't any premiums at that BR for you to suffer through. Except now, sooner or later, if you're going to get the 1 to 1 B at 11.0, then suddenly we are going to have an issue. Because at 11.0, it's going to get pulled into 11.7 games. Ta da! You now have to carry those one game Andes. Nevertheless, this is pure speculation. My name is Rachel Raptor. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully about the new severe damage mechanic, which I was planning to do, but there were so many things coming into. Cheers, and good luck on the battlefield.